Welcome back, fashion enthusiast. Mintu Vesala is the latest model to exemplify what it is to be androgynous. She is the most eerie looking out of all the previous models on this series. Her look is almost macabre. Give me a like if you agree. I actually did not know about her. Jennifer recommended her to me, so I want to say thank you to Jennifer. I do want to ask if you guys know any models that fit in this category to please say so in the comments so I can talk about them. Her face is not the only thing that contributes to her androgyny. Her walk is fast and aggressive. She has become noticeable because of her eye-catching runway moments for Balenciaga, which have gone viral. My name is Hana Ben Abdeslim. I'm from uh, Tunisia. She made her runway debut for Vivian Westwood in 2010. She also walked for Givenchy that same year. She loves modeling haute couture. Yeah. For me, the haute couture in Paris, the mass for me, yeah, it's very important because you feel every pieces and the haute couture, like there is something, you know, just you put it, you foil your body, what the designer wants in the future, and uh, you know, you, you will imagine, you dream with it. Her androgyny stems from her dark-haired pixie cut. However, she does have an alluring stare because of her Bambi eyes. She has a small face shape with a smooth jawline. If you have made it this far, please subscribe. Lancome signed her in 2012. She was the first Muslim spokesperson for the brand. She has graced the covers of Vogue Arabia two times. Born in Cape Town, Josie Bahrain was recognized as the first South African supermodel due to her working with dozens of designers in Europe and New York. She always had short hair, her beauty resembles to that of a preppy teenager. Her low eyelids make her have expressive eyes. She has a small facial shape with a smooth jawline. She has done campaigns for Calvin Klein, Versace, and Ralph Lauren.